Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, so today's video is the 2019 coloring tag. Um, Callie Girl um, tagged me. I will link her channel uh, in the description as well as the questions that I will be answering. Um, so I'll just dive right in. <clears throat> um, the first question was what coloring books you are working on and <laughs> I'd have to say um, I really try to balance working on all of them but the ones that I seem to go to quite often um, so I guess a couple that I'm hoping to finish in the near future um, would be Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn um, I've done quite a few in here um, just because they're really fun and quick to do um, yeah and this is the pocket size version but yeah I feel like this one and daydreams are the ones that I've worked in the most so um, this kind of is also adopted into favorite coloring book artists. Um, so another one I'm working on is Daydreams. This is the Hannah Carlson book that I've worked in the most, I would say. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of spreads in this one. Um, I just seem to always go to this book when I am not really sure what I want to color. And usually I can find something. So there's a little peek of that. <clears throat> um, the second question is so hard. Uh, what it, so it's asking who are my top three favorite illustrators. And I feel like that's asking me to pick a favorite child. Um, <laughs> so it was really hard. So I will just say... My top three are people that I wouldn't think twice about buying a book from them or I just always seem to look at their books and that would be um, Nicholas Philberg Chandra Wiyanata. I also have his book Serene but um, it was not in an easy I keep it somewhere else because it's a bigger book um, but I have not colored in that one or in Irene yet uh, because, <laughs> well, I want to be better at coloring his particular style. So I've worked a lot more, or only in Fantasia. Um, yeah, so I want to be better at coloring people because he has very beautiful pictures of people um, so yeah Nick Chandraminata is in my top three and then um, I really love the Korean artist Apple um, her I have both of her books but her pictures just speak to my heart um, they're just so sweet and remind me a lot of myself. Her character does. Just because she seems like she's just a carefree daydreamer. Um, and I, even when I <laughs> don't end up picking her pictures to color, I always look through her books because they're just, they just make me happy. So there's that one. And then another favorite artist is Emily Lydahall Olberg. Uh, I have her other book, Fairy Tales, as well. Um, but this book, um, I was so happy when they decided, when she announced that her printer was going to redo it. Her publisher, I mean, was going to redo a reprint. So I've only done a couple pictures in here, but I just love the style and the uniqueness creativity in 
her drawing style. Um, and my favorite kind of coloring to do, uh, I would say I love to do grayscale. Um, sorry. So I'm working, one of my goals is to finish a picture from this book someday. So this is what I'm working on. Um, and this is another picture I'm working on in Colin Thompson's coloring book. So I love this kind of grayscale, but I would say kind of out of a certain theme, most of the coloring that I'm drawn to and the books that I'm drawn to are, <coughs> excuse me, more fantasy and unique kind of books. So one example would be, you know, fairy-like, fantasy-like, um, Tomas Love Tomic, or in Carolina Kobakowska, just so very unique and whimsical, fantastical fairies and magic and that kind of thing would be kind of my favorite type of coloring to do. And then favorite coloring mediums would have to be, uh, I really love watercolor, so um, if I had to pick, um, so I guess Faber-Castell Aperture watercolor pencils are amazing to me because they're a pencil, which I love, but also they have the watercolor effect and also just the polychromos pencils. Um, now this one might be a little controversial for some people. Uh, so least my least favorite coloring medium, and I'm not saying that I don't like to use it, it's just one that I'm not drawn to as much because it's a little harder to work with and I I love using it as an accent on a page that's glitter gel pens so I do love using them for accents but I would never color a whole picture with gel pens I tried that once and it did not go well so they do have their place but if I had to choose a least favorite it would be a gel pen uh, and then, how many coding books have I completed? I've completed one, and that is Phantomorphia. That was my goal this year, is to finish a coloring book. So, I really pushed myself to finish this one. And I do have a complete flip through of it. I'll just give you a quick peek. Most of these I did color this year. Um, I only colored a few last year. Um, but it was really good to be able to push myself to complete it and it was, I would recommend doing, you know, finishing a coloring book because it does feel very rewarding to have one finished. And that leads me into my next question which is my favorite coloring book series and I would have to say um, Kirby Rosanna's books have um, been my one of my favorites. Um, it was a uh, really hard to choose between Hannah Carlson and Kirby Rosanna's but I decided to pick Kirby um, just because I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then Last but not least, the number of my coloring books in my collection is pretty high, but not as high as some people. So I'd say average, maybe? And that is, when I counted, it was 102, but I did decide to give some away, so there used to be more. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, so that's why I tried to give them all, um, attention. Uh, okay, anyways, so I do want to tag some other channels 
and um, this was kind of fun to do. I wanted to pick people who I knew would um, see the video or that have been um, with me for a while or who comment pretty often. Um, so if you do want to participate in this tag and I didn't tag you, um, it's your, you can do it too. I'm tagging everybody. But specifically, I would like to tag um, Grace's Coloring Corner, RB Dreams Art, and Coloring at V's. Um, and if you decide to do it, I will be excited to see your videos. If not, that's fine too. Um, anyways, sorry about the jiggle. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!